Approximately 9,000 military and civilian personnel from across the country traveled to Indiana to take part in Vibrant Response 13 held at Camp Atterbury Joint Maneuver Training Center and Muscatatuck Urban Training Complex. Vibrant Response is a defense support to civil authorities exercise where we put together the elements of the United States military and bring them into an exercise environment where we're actually teaching them how to respond to a disaster situation. The state and local authorities are overwhelmed and then they call for federal assistance and that's when we would bring in U.S. forces to help them recover from that tragedy. So what this exercise does is it brings them together, allows them to collaborate, you get able to see each other face to face, and they're able to, at the end, uh, compare notes, uh, which allows them to be able to communicate more effectively if it really does happen. Utilizing a primary focus to conduct complex and realistic training scenarios to test and validate units involved in the exercise, U.S. Army North worked together with Atterbury and Muscatatuck staff to develop an effective test bed for Vibrant Response 13. Uh, Atterbury, Muscatatuck, I believe, are national treasures. When you come to a training venue like this and you see all of the contextual challenges that are portrayed here, the first thing that occurs to you is this is a first class operation. That always brings out the best in our soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines. And this is all about teamwork. It's teaming with the great state of Indiana. It's teaming with the folks here in this community. And it's teaming with all the people that bring the special unique capabilities required for this kind of a disaster. When, when something actually does come down and happen, everybody is gonna be responding. You're gonna have your first local responders, you're gonna have in higher levels above that. So everybody's gotta be able to talk to each other. Everybody's gotta be able to coordinate with each other. If you don't train for that, how are you gonna function when it really happens? So we've, we've got to prepare and this is how we're doing it. Reporting from Camp Atterbury Joint Maneuver Training Center, I'm Tim Sproles.